Doug Flutie, establishing the Doug Flutie Jr. Foundation for Autism. And so we bring in a Flutie fellow in Andrew Roberts now, a 17-year-old. He's a high school senior as well. And I'd like to say aspiring broadcaster, but I think Andrew already is a broadcaster and a sportscaster. He has done so many things already in his life. So the baseball cards got me interested in baseball first. That was the first sport. From there, I got into football, got into basketball, all the Boston teams. I'd say my best interview, yeah, it would probably be Rob Gronkowski. Yeah, it was really cool just um, being able to meet like one of the best Boston athletes of this generation. What impact has that made on, on your life? You know, the Doug Flutie Jr. Foundation for Autism in, in terms of some of these opportunities you've got? They invited me to come MC their Flutie 5K in 2017. Here live at the finish line, runners are coming through now. They're hot, they're tired, they're getting water. And from there, I was able to become the first Flutie fellow. A lot of people um, that are autistic are either unemployed or underemployed and they're trying to make an impact in helping people with um, helping people with autism follow their passions and find jobs and they thought having me do some sports reporting for the Flutie Foundation would be a good way to get started. What's that mean for you to be able to be that sort of that person that example and role model? It feels great honestly. I hope my story can inspire others. I really like seeing other people who are autistic like um, being able to pursue the things they are interested in and like really they can do anything they put their mind to.